Lighting may not be as sexy as the hottest new camera lens or the hottest new camera body, but it is pivotal for achieving the desired look for your content. And this tiny little light is the most fun I have ever had with a light. And I think it's just changed the game. Let me explain. So this is the brand new Forza 60C from Nanlite. By its size alone, this light already is turning some heads. But the thing that makes this special is the C in 60C. Unlike most lights, this has the ability to do full RGB color. Now a quick disclaimer, Nanlite did send me this light to test out, but they did not have a say in what I say and they don't get to see this video before you do. And I also wanna remind you to stick around to the end of the video because I have a special giveaway for those who make it to the end. So with that out of the way, let's take a quick look at the vast array of functionality that is available with the Forza 60C. On the back, we have a few different knobs. And with this one, we can obviously change the brightness of the light, but we can also switch it into a bicolor mode with CCT mode. This gives us access to the insane 1800 to 200,000 Kelvin range. And they've also added this green magenta shift here as well. So maybe you have a secondary light such as the original Aperture 120D, which is very well known to have a slight magenta shift to it. With this, you could just adjust this one to match the same color of that other light if you're using this as a fill light, for example. I'll also note that the typical bicolor light ranges from something like 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. So that just really kind of puts it in perspective how much more flexibility you get with 1800 to 200,000 Kelvin. But where the real magic happens is when we swap this light over to HSI. If you've ever used a Nanlite Pavo 2, which are the lights I have behind me, then you're very used to this interface. You have the dimmer to control the brightness of the light. You have the hue to change which color you want the light to be. And you also have the saturation of that color. So maybe you want a little bit of a less intense blue, you could turn the saturation down to something like 50%, for example. So there are a few things that make the Forza 60C an absolutely amazing addition to your lighting kit. Of course, the list would not be complete without mentioning the form factor. It's basically the same footprint of my iPhone and it's super easy to place around the studio or rig anywhere on set. There's also no massive power source like many other lights. It just has this very small little brick that could be hung on the light stand as well. The built-in mounting stand is also fantastic. There are a bunch of other 60 watt lights out there such as the Amaran series that don't have the same quality of mounting point. So you feel really confident being able to control this and adjust it with ease. I'm also a huge fan of the Forza 60C's battery solution. You have the typical V-mount battery as well as an NPF battery grip that you're able to easily handhold if you're doing sort of a run and gun type of shoot. Another thing that really makes this light stand out is the versatility. Typically, if you're looking for a full RGB spectrum light, you're looking basically at RGB panels, which are great and all, but you have minimal ability to modify those lights. Now enter the Forza 60C, which is a fully functional spotlight. The stock mount is a smaller FM mount, but it does come with a Bowens mount attachment as well, meaning you can modify this thing in all kinds of crazy ways, whether it's the included reflector, a soft box, a Fresnel, barn doors, or even a cardboard box, you name it, you've got it. This gives you tons of flexibility to add all over your scene to create some awesome accents to your image. I recently shot an interview here in my home studio and used the included FM reflector to add a little bit of accent, but you could also do some really interesting additional creative setups, such as using this to light the entire scene, using it as a background light to change the ba entire background without using gels, or you could just make your bedroom look like a TikToker if you wanted to do that. Aside from the light itself, it also comes with a rad little carrying case. I've had a lot of lights over the years, and even though it seems like a small thing, having a nice carrying case is a must. This soft style of case works much better than those foam cases, since the foam cases never really have enough space to get everything back in, unless you're the Jason Bourne of wrapping up your cables. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Another awesome feature is the lighting effects modes. Now, I personally kind of think these are gimmicky on most lights, and I've rarely used them on any daylight or bicolor lighting. However, the fact that you can also bring in color into the mix actually does change the game here. With things like the police car or fireworks, it's actually much more realistic because we have actual color included in the effects. So I actually could see myself using these quite a lot. Now, with all that said, absolutely no product is completely perfect. But before we get into the downsides of the Forza 60C, we're doing a little bit of a giveaway here. So as I've mentioned here on the channel before, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So for the next seven days, if you're subscribed to the channel and you leave a comment on this video, I'll be selecting 10 of you to win my Lightroom presets and SkySwap bundle. So get at it. 
Now, for all that fun stuff out of the way, there are a few things about the Forza 60C that I really do think you should know before purchasing. Firstly, I do wish the cables were longer. I know this is kind of a minor thing to nitpick about, but even here in the little home studio, I didn't have amount, the amount of reach to make it to some of the plugs that I was going for. And if you're on set, you might have to be running extension cords and that just kind of seems like a mess to me. The last one is the price point. Now, don't get me wrong. The quality and functionality of this light is dope, but the price point of $699 US is a little bit steep for my liking. This can add so much versatility to make your lighting setup so much more dynamic, but I do think that price point puts it a little bit out of reach for many creatives. But with that said, I do think it is an awesome light, and if you can afford it, I definitely recommend adding it to your setup. So YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video next. Why don't you tap on it and see if they're right? Peace.